It's the start of day two of the 2008 New Hampshire Liberty Forum, January 4th, 2008. Which I had to fit right there. Some parts I built from the scratch. Uh, frame I bought from Richard Salata. Uh, not finished frame. I finished the frame. Uh, nice to live in the real free state. It just compares Maryland and New Hampshire and all these various factors. Yeah. It says, you know, Proceeds go to support his organization. Five DVDs for $10. Yeah, I saw the, uh, the Houston Angelica Theater. Oh, you saw it there? I don't know what spot was today. Last time I checked, it was 14. I started three businesses. There is a sign. And there is definitely a full slate of activities. The primacy of the individual. Gardner Goldsmith from Against and, uh, the Grain. And the market will only bear what the consumer is willing to pay. Stop real ID, the federal ID in the state of New Hampshire. It is only because of the Free State Project members who volunteered their time to stop the lobbyists who were coming from some of our own congressional offices. Supposedly, they're supposed to be in Washington to represent us. But instead, they were sending their paid employees to come lobby our state house to accept a completely unconstitutional, patently unethical ID program proposed by James Sensenbrenner, who calls himself conservative. The people to peacefully assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances. First Amendment. No Peter Crisp from the Law Enforcement Against Prohibition. By numbers. They still wanted to take a chance, and we couldn't touch it. And then one morning we woke up, and you know what? It quit all by itself. They shut the whole operation down, just went out of business. Amazing. Huge debts. Have you ever heard that term before? The ubiquitous and honorable Don Gorman. Don, could you tell us what, when you were first made aware of the Free State Project and what your initial perceptions were and have they changed since then? Yeah, let me, let me tell you, we, be, we became aware of it uh, when, the, when the state was selected, when New Hampshire was selected. And at first there was a very few people that came. There were not a lot, but they were very dedicated. They literally packed their bags, moved here, were sleeping on people's couches, wherever. They got settled in. They got jobs, they got families and whatever, and they settled in. And more and more people are coming in. More and more people are, are having families and, 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 and associates here in this state. So it's getting easier and easier. It's getting better and better. It is absolutely incredible. I'm telling you, compared to what it was on day one and compared to what it is today at the Port Fest, it just blows my mind. Education so discussion they're like panel. Bully on the block. They kind of do what they want. Yeah. Then there are other uh, great books programs and classic <coughs> programs, again, which provide evaluation and certification. Torture, secret prisons, not officially existing, surveillance openly endorsed by the Bush administration, every one of them. Ron Paul is running for president. Carla Howell from the Center for Small Government. I, Carla Howell, proudly endorse Ron Paul for President of the United States. Yeah, 
Melody Herman, what are you going to be talking about? I will be talking about real estate, job finding, and business development. Talk to me. Definitely, I would say, depending on what your time frame is, I would be in touch with the town. How's the Capital Access filming going? Amazing. Doesn't it feel like it? This <laughs> part. Judy Aaron, I'm from National Home Education Legal Defense. And this is Deborah Stevenson. Hi. And she's the executive director. And we're here today to spread information about freedom to homeschool your children and parental rights and all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> Thank you.